Whitney. I work in the freshwater department here at Cruise Pets. I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of our fish room. We stock over uh, 100 species of African cichlids, about um, probably over 75 New World cichlids, um, probably close to around 80 species of, uh, of tetras, um, maybe 30 species of barbs. Um, Catfish and flecos together, you're probably looking at over 50 species right there. Um, invertebrates, amphibians, and crustaceans, that's probably like a good 40 plus species right there. Um, that would include like shrimps and crayfish, um, frogs, um, goldfish and koi, probably about 10 different varieties right now. Um, loaches, probably close to around 20 species. We are one of the few retailers in the area that sells red belly piranhas. They're a very popular fish. All of the angel fish that we sell here at Cruise are bred right here on site. Rainbow fish, that's another really big one for us, probably over 30 species of those for sure. Uh, over 20 different species of labyrinth fish, um, maybe like 30 different species of uh, danios and rasboras together. Um, over 30 varieties of, uh, of live bears, all of which that we breed right here. Um, here on the back wall, we keep more of our specialty fish, um, some of the oddballs, things you're not going to find anywhere else. One of the newer freshwater species that we just started carrying are these thermometer knives. It's a black ghost knife. One thing that's cool about these guys too is uh, they're practically blind. They navigate through electrical pulses. This is a very popular tank for people visiting our store. It has some of the most entertaining fish in it. These are actually brackish fish. Uh, brackish fish come from areas where salt water meets fresh water, so these fish are very adaptable in terms of what levels of salinity they can handle. Um, in here we've got archer fish. This is why they call them archer fish. Archers use this ability to um, shoot bugs off of leaves that overhang the rivers where they come from so that they can knock them down into the water and eat them. Oh, and this tank has the mud skippers in it too. We probably have like close to 20 species of brackish fish that we can get in at any, any given time too. So, it's a pretty long list.